right, I'm back. No more whiteboard, no more flipboard. Um, I recently invested in some uh, new tech equipment because I want to make these videos as good as possible. So we got this like Razer Kyo Pro Ultra webcam thing with a road level here go lapel mark but couldn't get that hardware working so i'm using a good old-fashioned headset that i use for meetings um anyway i'll get straight into it um let, oh by the way let me know in the comments if you like this format because i'm still working on things i just want it to be really clear concise um hopefully the audio is a lot better than my last videos but anyway so um continuing on from the last youtube video i made it was about uh, iPhone accounts, uh, sorry, dating app accounts, how to create Tinder and Bumble profiles on iPhones. What I didn't realize that I left out was how to go about the verification process. Um, I didn't mention that. So I thought this would be a continuation on from that and explain how we do approach the verification for Tinder and Bumble accounts. Hey, I'm Bjorn Olsen from yourofempire.com, owner of Your OnlyFans Empire, an OnlyFans management agency managing girls in the top 1% from all over the world, completely remotely. No office, hence the different hotel rooms and all my different videos. Check us out at yourofempire.com or at yourofempire on all major social media platforms. But for now, let's get back to the video. Because I just got a ton of messages, uh, whether it was through Telegram, Insta, it was, it was on all the socials, all different people, comments and YouTube video asking about the verification process. So sorry I left that part out. But maybe this new format will help explain it a little more. Um, so we'll try this old Word doc thing, and then I'll show you a couple of examples of what we do. Um, so first of all, if you didn't notice, I didn't say that we do verify. I didn't say that this video would explain how we verify. I explained how we go about the verification process. And that is because we don't verify accounts. We don't do it. We've done it. We've done it before. Uh, first, I'll just give you a little bit of... I'll show you. Okay, first, I'll just show you a little clip. We've, we've done it all before, but now we found a way that flies under the radar, has a better funnel, high conversion rate, and less, uh, less turning. So the accounts have a longer lifespan, all without verifying. We noticed that we're including all these steps. We were too focused on creating a shitload of accounts. So I'm used to using my hands a lot, but I'm aware that my hands probably aren't being seen in this. So we'll get used to it. Um, so I'm trying not to use my hands. Uh, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so we're, we've done all that. Uh, we noticed that we're getting too focused on trying to create the maximum number of accounts. But when we really thought about it, we were like, how effective are they? How long do they last? How many steps are going into creating them? How long is being spent on creating each account versus how long it's lasting? So we eventually narrowed the steps down because we noticed there were too many steps. We're adding proxies and anti-detect browsers and then there was this cloning thing we tried and then um, verifying, verifying using poses, using virtual webcam, all these steps. And we thought, how, much, how long are we actually getting out of these accounts? What's the lifespan? maybe a week or two weeks and then we thought hang on hang on hang on what if we just focus on acting the maximum amount of human in each account finding a funnel that goes undetected that doesn't raise any red flags that doesn't start you off you know on a lower trust score than usual and so we came down to iphones and we came down with creative funnels now who's to say that you only have to use instagram or snapchat as a funnel I'll just leave you with that. Um, working on a forum currently, um, and I'm going to explain this funnel that I kind of just teased there, this this new way of doing it. Um, but I don't want to give away the leverage, our leverage now before I release the forum because then, you know, we need a kind of a hook to get people into the forum. So I'll talk about that later, but I'll just leave you with that. Who's to say you actually need an Instagram or Snapchat to funnel? There's other ways. So now I'll show you that Yes, we know how to do it. This isn't an excuse. Uh, here's a little thing we got one of our VAs to whip up. Um, so it is showing how to verify using poses. I'll try and skip through it a bit. This is actually using, it's been a while since we did this way. We just use iPhones now, but pretty sure it was um, using like the Google developer console within the browser to change location 
and mimic a mobile device, something like that. And then here we're using webcam in combination with an abundance of all the poses that we had. Then you'll select the desired pose, add it in. I'm just going to skip through because you get the point. So now we just get the webcam pose to match the pose given. Yep, yep, yep. Then you send it off. So there you go. So I'm just showing that, yes, do now. This isn't a cop out. We, we're not saying that we don't verify because we don't know how. Um, we're not saying that we use iPhones because we don't know any other methods. Here we go. I'll show you a little bit more goss. So I, I start off note taking everything before I even start this agency. I've mentioned in other videos. I, ever since the San Andreas video games, writing down the cheat codes, I've just, I take notes on everything because I try and learn so much that I'm scared that some information is going to get lost. I started note taking. And um, anyway, that's when I realized I was like, wow, I've got like a shitload of material here. It's a, it's a leverage that I could use to start a course or something. But now I'm actually going to put all that into a forum. So, so this is some of my notes just to show you that, yes, we know how to use the, what was this? This was blue stacks. Yes, we've done that. What else did we try? We tried Tinder. Yes, that was blue stacks. Uh, proxy, we tried Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome browser. Um, blue stacks and then troubleshooting. Um, by the way, all those things now don't work. So if you're going to pause the frame and go have a read through it, um, all those methods, they're, they're, it was just too much of a fuck around. So we just went to iPhone. So yeah, you can like freeze frame, go through, read all that material, um, you know, get inside scoop but it's probably leading you to a dead end. So take it from us. We, we're the ones who wrote all those notes and it's too much of a fuck around, so we got to make to iPhone 6. Anyway, so now you get the point. Yes, we know how to verify. We know how to do all those other things, but we still say iPhones, less steps. And when you have a creative funnel that doesn't raise suspicion, you don't need to verify because it's not worth it. We get on average one to one and a half months lifespan out of account, I worked out. Tinder and Bumble. Whereas on like proxies, uh, what do you call it? On the entity tech web browser, proxies and all that, man, we're lucky to get two weeks. And that was with verifying. So okay. take it from us. So just to run it home a little more and explain this a little bit more, if I haven't already explained myself, I made a little word doc. So how we approach verification for Tinder Bumble accounts. First of all, is it really necessary? As I said, check this. This is pretty creative, isn't it? Boom. Thing outside the box. Get Creative, as I was saying, is Tinder, uh, sorry, is Insta and Snapchat, are they the only ways to funnel? Oh, I'll leave you with that, eh? Now, look at that. How creative is that? Is there another way to create long lasting accounts without verifying? No. Really. Think about it. I know all the, the raves, like app cloners and creating hundreds of accounts and taking screenshots and videos and sending them in the chat to flex. How long do they last? Because I see a lot of complaints going on. Anyway, so now think about it. If an account gets lost and not... Yeah, this is another reason. So if an account gets locked and asked to verify, then in my opinion, it's on their radar. So that's not going to last much longer anyway. You know what I mean? Like um, normally it's when you trigger something and then you get asked to verify if you're human. You go through the verification and then it's like, boom, you need to verify in order to continue. That's what I mean. If that happens, then in my opinion, you're already on the radar. Verifying is only necessary if an account has less than usual trust score or is on the radar because you don't actually need a verified account to get matches, to chat, to engage, do you? No, you don't. They still work. So I can't even remember all these things that were listed here. Now, you mitigate this by coming up with a more creative funnel, you know, put in put bio in the profile pics. Put in the job listing or don't even use Instagram and Snapchat. And then what do we have here? So I'm trying not to drag this on too much. Ah, yes. Always use new picks with each account. I've seen a few people ask and can you use the same picks. Now I'm not too sure about Bumble, but if it's anything like Tinder, Tinder, uh, lease the Amazon recognition software, which lists all photos, uh, sorry, which store all photos on their database as text-based fingerprints 
So yeah, you can try manipulating the image a little bit, but it is not going to get past that. It will know. I even tried cloaking it with a, what was it called? It was called a Forks cloak. It, 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 um, it changed the image on a pixel level. So to the untrained eye, it looked the same, but on a pixel level, it changed it. Guess what? Send a new, send a new. So use a new pixel for each account. No, changing metadata is good. Now, as I said at the start, click to maximum human. You know, add some left swipes, click through photos. How do people really act? So I'm still using my hands a lot. I'll try and change that. And then message every now and then. You want to act maximum human. Yes, a little bit more time is required, but the account lasts longer. I actually have a couple of employees that pretty much run the farm for me um, because it would be a bit hard to take fucking like 100 iPhones with me in a bag or something on a plane. Um, I, do, I take a lot, but um, yeah, I use an employee back in Australia to run all the accounts. They just follow a troubleshooting guide. I load the iCloud accounts up with the photos and then they just and download the photos onto the iPhone from the iCloud account where I've already done it all. So I can do it all remotely. But anyway, um, point is, what I'm trying to say is that um, I can't get a bot to message every now and again and act maximum human. You can use auto-clicking functionality on iPhones to replicate left swipes and click through photos. But every now and then you do need a message. So that takes people. Now, while this all comes down to is the effort verse return. Fuck it, we're just going to make it all black. I think I made this more complicated. Anyway, this is the first vid like this, so maybe we'll do a PowerPoint or something next time, eh? Um, anyway, so effort verse return. So we started using iPhones because no browser proxy meant higher trust score and less fucking around with less and more effective accounts. We used to use Entity Tech uh, with proxies, verifying using webcam, as I showed you at the start of the video, and poses, etc. Now, we get a one to one and a half month average lifespan versus a weekly lifespan with the browser and the proxies and whatever else. So hundreds of accounts in a browser clone are great to flex numbers, but if you're spending every day fucking around replacing them or trying to verify, then how many accounts are actually funneling effectively? Because if an account gets banned, then all those matches you have lined up might not have had a chance to see the bio, see the funnel and funnel through. It would be a waste. And so that's it. So to answer all of your questions, we don't verify. Um, I especially want to make this video and explain because no one believed when I said that. I had one guy asking, oh, I don't throw him under the bus, but he was asking for the source, like asking how I go about verifying. I told him all the stuff in the video. And then he said, prove it. Like, <laughs> like, like prove it. Show, show me that it works. And I said, well, you're asking me for knowledge. You're asking me to do your favor by giving you this knowledge. If you don't want to use it, don't do it. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I'd make this video to show you that, yes, we do know how to do all that. Yes, we do know what we're doing. I wrote all that down. All those notes you saw, I wrote that. Um, yes, we know what we're doing. And we've come down to iPhones, no proxies, just with a SIM card, mod the location with three U tools, iAnyGo or iMyPhone. No verifying, can't last one to one and a half months. Cool. Then when it gets banned or one of them gets banned, reset the phone, dial over again, new SIM card, no proxies, no verifying, no bullshit. So that's it. So I hope this helped you. So if you like the video, go smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on another video.